hi I'm back and I have filmed another video what do you know so this is the makeup that I'm actually wearing to a concert tonight I'm going to see Ghost which if you know that band and love that band then I love you but most people won't know and most people won't like it so yeah Ghost is for specific tastes. <laughs> I am like literally so excited to see Ghost. I feel like my heart's gonna beat out of my chest. This is gonna be the third time that I'm seeing them. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. It never... I could see them every single week and I would still feel like this. Can you imagine seeing your favorite band? Like your favorite band in the entire world every week. <sighs> That's the dream. But yeah, this is a kind of talk through tutorial. So I'm not doing a voiceover. I'm kind of just chatting while I'm doing my makeup. I also don't show you like my full base routine. It's mostly focused on the eyes. Also, because I was talking, there's going to be like noises in the background since like my dad was vacuuming, my mom was walking up and down the stairs, my rats were fighting, my space heater went on and off, like, so just bear with those noises. I tried to work around them the best that I can, but they're there. Sorry, I feel really awesome right now because I really, 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 really love my makeup, especially these lashes. I feel like if you peeled my soul open, first of all, you would see nothing. But then, like, in the corner would be this makeup. I hope that you enjoy this video for all the craziness that happened or whatever. Also, I had this today while I was doing this video, so I'm like, you know, like, mm, right now. <laughs> but, apart from that, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions on what you want me to do next, just let me know. I'm happy to do pretty much whatever. Um, if you want more like full tutorials or me like breaking down the process of doing things like contouring or eyebrows or putting on lashes, things that you know most people find kind of intimidating and that I definitely did. If you like this video and you feel like it, you can like it or subscribe or do both. That's also great. Let me know what other kinds of videos you want me to do, either in the comments of this video or on my Instagram, which is at Lolo Makeup Looks. Same as here. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye! So, as I hopefully would have said in the intro, I'm doing a concert look that my sister actually requested. She said that I should do a concert look and I thought, you know, I'm going to a concert today. Actually, not the day that you're seeing it probably. But yeah, I'm going to Ghost, which if you don't know what Ghost is, you probably should stay that way because it's, it's for not everybody. I'm going to try to do this video um, with just me talking during it and not a voiceover because you know voiceover problems are annoying i also have no idea what kind of makeup i'm doing i know i want to use black and i know i want to use i want to have winged liner but apart from that i have no idea <laughs> i have my starbucks double shot espresso mocha and with this we can do anything. I'm going to start with my eyes today. I feel like it's gonna be, my makeup is gonna end up being really dramatic, so I don't wanna get fallout everywhere. So the first thing that I'm gonna do for my eyes is I'm going to prime them with some concealer. And I'm just gonna blend that onto my finger because I'm too lazy to get a brush. I'm then going to go in with an actual eyelid primer. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry. 
coffee gives me burpees because I'm technically, probably, lactose intolerant and gluten intolerant. But, like I said, I'm drinking coffee and I had pasta for breakfast, so... Then I'm just gonna take some powder, whatever powder works, and I'm just gonna set this all so that my eyeshadow goes on smoothly. So like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing, and I, I have like an end goal in mind, but I don't know how to get there. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna take this gray color right here, and that's just gonna go right in my crease. I'm kind of bringing it all over my lid just so that the blend is better, bring it all the way up to my eyebrow, just putting this everywhere and I'm layering it up to make it a little bit darker. Just like that. So you basically can't see it but it's just adding a little bit of definition to the crease. I'm then going to take this dark brown eyeshadow. I'm first going to get it all over my finger on accident. But then I'm just going to take it on a smaller crease brush and do basically the same thing but lower down and more on the outer corner. So I'm going back to the eyeshadow several times just to build up the color and get a smoother blend. I'll probably cut out most of the blending because nobody likes to just, I don't know, I don't know what people like, but I don't think you want to watch me just sit here blending for 10 minutes. It's time for eyeliner, which is really hard to do. I don't want to do it, but it's like my main focus. Sorry, there's like eyelash glue in my eyes. I'm using a gel liner, which is easiest for me. I'm using a very small angled brush. And <clears throat> this is gonna be so bad. Okay. I'm gonna start on the outer corner of my eyes and just do like a basic line and then I'll do the wing. So <sighs> wish me luck. My eyes are really difficult because my crease, I don't know if you can see, but it goes down really far. So if I go, like if I do wing, wing liner and it looks good this way, then when I like open my eyes, it's going to be all bumpy and messy. I'm going to look straight ahead and try to figure out where I want the end of my liner to be. So for me, that's going to be about there. So I'm going to put my brush right about there. So, I need a break. <laughs> so, if your liner ends up like mine, where it kind of curves under here, you can leave it if you like it like that. Kind of like. Okay. What you can do if you want to clean that up and make it a little bit straighter is take a makeup wipe and kind of stick your nail in there and then just very carefully kind of wipe at the bottom of it. And it'll do that and it'll look really bad. But. What you do after that is you just wipe that part away. And that also gives you more of a point at the end. So, this eye just reminded me why I never do wing liner, but that's okay. Luckily I planned to mess this up, so it doesn't really matter. This eye Okay, for my standards, for my 
ability to do wing liner. It came out really good. What I'm going to do is take a black eyeshadow and like a small smudgy brush. I'm just going to pick some up on that brush and just go directly over top of this liner. I'm going to try and clean this side up more, but I'll probably just ruin it more. I don't understand. Just drink more coffee. Coffee makes everything better. Back to this palette and that same cool tone, dark brown. On a small fluffy brush, I'm just going to take a bit of this and run it over top of the black. So it went from the black liner to the black shadow and now to this brown shadow. Just to help blend it even more because I want it to kind of look like an ombre, if you will. I like that better. I'm going to fiddle with my left side a bit more, and then I'll be right back. So, next step is I'm going to take my highlighter that I'm going to use on my face, take that and highlight my brow bone. I want it pretty intense. When do I not want something intense? That's the real question. I think we're done with the eye makeup on the top for a while. Let's see. I'm gonna go do my face makeup, like my foundation sealer powder, that kind of jazz, and maybe some more stuff. I don't really know. But I'll be back soon. Don't I look pretty? Yeah, so I'm covered in powder right now. Okay, so I'm sorry about my chair. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm gonna go in with, what do you know, the dark brown again. On a little smudgy brush. Oh no. My space feeder was on that entire time. Sorry. Hopefully it won't go on again. So I'm just gonna take this eyeshadow and run it underneath my eyes. Yeah, I can zoom in. There we go. Just smudging that all the way around. Just the black that's in this palette. I was using the other black because it's a little bit more intensely black. I don't know. But this one I don't need to be as dark as this. So I'm just taking that on a flat definer brush and I'm going to push that right at my lashes. And then I'm just going to go in with that brush again and blend it out. Next order of business is I'm going to highlight my inner corner. I'm going to take that same highlighter that I used earlier, and I want this to be really intense, so I'm going to spray it with some setting spray. So I have that on my brush, and I'm just going to do that, and then highlight. And when you spray your brush with... Oh, fuck. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. When you spray your brush, it makes it go on a little shinier. My dad decided to start vacuuming. <sighs> what do I do? Okay, so, I think my dad is done. For a while at least, I have no idea. I'm going to do something kind of scary to some people. And my mom is like disgusted by this. I'm going to line the inside of my eyes. Yeah, okay. So, I'm going to just gonna take a black liner and just, just do it. This does take some getting used to. It does tickle. If you stab yourself, yes, it does hurt.
Ooh, this side really tickles. Up here, it, it's like going crazy. Oh, wow. Okay. Sorry, I'm like, tr it, I'm not in pain at all. I'm just like trying to stop my eyes from watering. Oh, fun. See that? See that? It's out. I'm all good. Now, like I said, I have really watery eyes, so this by itself doesn't last on me whatsoever. So, what I found that helps it last. It still doesn't really last on me. If you have any suggestions for really good, long-lasting pencil eyeliners, please tell me. What I'm going to do is take the black eyeshadow on a flat brush. Hold on. Okay. Flipped over the space heater so it doesn't bother us. I'm going to take the black eyeshadow and just press it over top of it. Okay, so here's my dilemma. I love glitter, but... I really like how this looks, just like all matte and smoky and dark and beautiful. But I also really want to add glitter. Should I add it like just like here? Should I add it at all? Should I add it all over my face? I have this palette that my sister got me. I'm thinking I can use either the silver or these like blackish glitters. My dad is in the hallway. Please don't start vacuuming. He's vacuuming. Give me a minute. I'm gonna do the glitter and then I'll be back. So, while my dad was vacuuming, I added some black glitter right here. As you can see, it came out much more dramatic than I thought. I just wanted like a few sparkles down there and now it's my complete lower lash line. I also, excuse me, nearly choked on my own spit. I also brushed off the bake and I did my bronzer and contour. I'm going to move on to lashes and stuff. So first I'm just going to curl my lashes. And then I'm just going to go in with some mascara. Sorry. I don't know why it's that. <laughs> I said it like that. And since I'm wearing falsies, sorry about my chair. Since I'm wearing falsies, I'm not going to spend too much time making my lashes look perfect with just mascara, but I just want them all coated and black. Why don't I tell you a little bit about Ghost? So, Ghost is a satanic rock metal band. Just putting it out there. Yeah, it is. It's so good. It is my favorite band in the whole world. This will be my third time seeing them. My mom and I are going to Iowa to see them this time. So good. Ghost can do like no wrong in my eyes. I have yet to listen to a song that I don't like. If you like rock music, and you have an open mind, you should listen to Ghost. My favorite song is Rats. Obviously. I love Rats. I have to. Yeah. All of their songs are like... <laughs> like I'm like, yeah, my top three favorite Ghost songs are all of them. <laughs> that's just like... That's just what I'm like. I love them so much. I'm gonna quick throw some mascara on my lower lashes. Perfect. You can barely see them because... Sorry, I'm gonna drop something. 
Excuse me. I'm so burpy today. I don't understand. Well, I don't understand. Coffee. But yeah, you can barely see my lower lashes because my lower lash line is so dark. But whatever. Do what I want. Okay, so I'm gonna apply my lashes now. So I'm just gonna paint some glue on them. I can do that. I can totally make a video about how to apply false lashes if you want because I know that a lot of people struggle with it and I did too for a really long time. These are the most beautiful lashes I've ever put on my face. Just highlighting my cheekbones, a little above my brows, my cupid's bow, and the bridge of my nose. This is the hardest part. Deciding what lip color to wear. Okay, I'm just gonna swatch a bunch of stuff. I'll be right back. So, here are all our lip options. I still have no clue. I'm just gonna wipe these away as, as I eliminate them. So I think I might have a plan. I'm just trying to get some of this foundation off. I'm gonna like do part of my lips with this, which is darker and more grayish. Then I'm gonna go on the inside with this lighter gray color. So I can use a lip brush. A little baby. And I'm gonna go in with this, kind of like, ah, lovely. I'm gonna go in with this, kind of like right in the middle. It's setting spray. So, here we go. 